Okay, let's belt out this theorem. The angle between two vectors, call it theta. Let theta be the angle between two vectors where theta is between 0, zero and 180. So what do I mean by that? So if you have two vectors, there's actually two angles I can imagine looking at. Let's say you have u, and let's say you have vector v. We're talking about the smaller angle between two vectors. So that's the theta we're talking about. Does that make sense? Okay, then it's often useful to find the angle between two vectors, and we can write it in terms of cosine pretty easily. The cosine of theta is equal to, it turns out, believe it or not, it's equal to u dot v divided by the magnitude of u times the magnitude of v. To motivate the proof, I'm going to show you a picture. Okay, so let's suppose this is vector v. So the blue guy is vector v. Um, and then the green guy will be vector u. Now, th this, this picture is not really part of the proof. It's kind of like scratch work. Um, but, it, but it leads you to how to set up the symbolic part of the proof. So my claim is this. The vector in red that I'm about to draw That vector right there is going to be u minus v. So how, how can you see that? Um, let me make sure you see that, make, make sure you understand that. So let me put, whoops, let me make a copy of that picture to just kind of show you where that comes from. Let's erase this part. OK. This is going to be a good review of the triangle law. How do you add, or how do you represent, anyway, u minus v using addition? So yeah, u minus v is equal to u plus uh, a negative v, isn't it? So negative v, now, I'm going to do this. I'm just going to eyeball it so it's not going to be exactly right. So negative v actually is parallel. Any representation will be parallel with v, but pointing in the opposite direction, right? Does that look about the same length as v, but pointing in the opposite direction? So would you buy that that's negative v? Yeah? OK. And then let me put them. We'll just color code it so I don't need to write negative v. So let me put that on the tip of u, OK? And then the triangle law says we connect what to what? So oh, yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take the tail of u to, to add, in other words, to add the vector in green, u, to the, to the vector in, in blue, which this second vector in blue is negative v. I'm going to take, I'm going to connect the tail of u to the tip of negative v. But let me make a copy of that. Oh, that's the same. That completes the parallelogram right there. So that this vector in red must also be u minus v. You believe it now? That's all I want. I just want you to believe it. I don't want to prove it. All right, <laughs> that's, that's going a little too far. You, could use, you, you guys can figure out how to prove that using geometry. OK, so this is what I want to prove. So focus on this picture right here. Um, the length of this vector symbolically in green is magnitude u, right? And the length of this vector in blue is magnitude v. And the length of the vector in red is the magnitude of u minus v. So now we can think of that as just a regular old triangle, can't we, if we want? OK, now I want you to channel your trigonometry. Mm -hmm. Channel trigonometry, right? And remember the law of cosines. So my angle that I'm referring to 
That's the theta. Same theta is up there. And the law of cosines, you're used to writing it in terms of A and B and C and then the angle, uh, one of the angles. So you have to make an adjustment here. But see if you believe this. The law of cosines says that the square of the magnitude of U minus V, let me use, I'm not going to color code it all the way, so I'll change colors here. Uh, magnitude of U minus V squared. So that guy squared should equal, well, if it were a right angle, if theta were a right angle, you'd just have what? Magnitude U squared plus magnitude V squared. If, if theta were a right angle, isn't that true? And then law of cosine says, oh, you have to have this error correction term if it's not a right angle, right? Minus 2 times, anybody know? Right, which in this case would be uh, magnitude u, magnitude v, and then the cosine times the cosine of that angle. That really is the law of cosines. You could, if you don't believe that, you could substitute uh, c in for magnitude u minus v, a in for uh, magnitude u, and and b in for magnitude v, and then angle c in for theta. Okay, so. You can almost see the formula a little bit, right, in what we just wrote down. We need, we need a cosine of theta. It's right here. We need, well, I don't, I'm not sure about the u dotted with v, but we do, we do need a magnitude u and magnitude v, right, in, in, the formula, in this formula, which is the one we're trying to prove. So what I'm going to do then is whittle this equation down into this equation. Okay? So that's, that's how we'll spend the rest of our time. Now, if you, if you remember the note above, you could rewrite the magnitude of u minus v squared as u minus v dotted with u minus v, right? The magnitude of v squared is, is uh, v dot v. For actually each one of these things that are being squared, I, I could rewrite magnitude u minus v squared as magnitude u minus v dotted with itself. Now, I'm not going to do anything to the right side for now, so I'm just going to put ditto mark to save some time. The left side, let's multiply that out. We know distribution for dot product holds, right? So how are you going to multiply this out? Foil, as long as you're careful to specify the operation of multiplication as, as the dot product. First, outer, inner, last. Remember that? So when you multiply the first together, you can't write it as u squared. That doesn't make sense. You have to write it as u dot u. So u dot u, that's the first from the FOIL, from the acronym for the FOIL method. Okay, uh, what's the outer multiplication? Minus what? Well, for just the outer, it would be minus u dot v, right? And then what would the inner be? So the outer, that's the outer, that's the inner right there. So that would be minus technically v dot u, right? But it's the same as, v dot u is the same as u dot v. So we do have two of them, mi minus two of them. And then what would you get when you multiply out the last? Plus v dot v. The right-hand side, ditto mark, does not change. Everybody with me? We're almost done. Have patience. We're almost done. I know this is exciting. Or the other thing. Oh, yeah, not exciting. Okay. Um, <coughs> And then somebody pointed out, then, if you just, these are like terms if you rewrite the v dot u as u dot v. So there's minus 2 of them. So uh, minus 2 times u dot v, right? And then plus v dot v. And then let's go ahead and rewrite the right-hand side, because now we're going to use it. So the right-hand side is, hasn't changed. And this is an equation. We're assuming that um, these vectors are non-trivial, so they're, none of them are the zero vector for the sake of argument. So what would happen then, oh, what could I do um, to save a step? I should have, in this step, rewritten 
u dot u as what? Magnitude of u squared, using that same property we used earlier to change u minus v, uh, magnitude of that squared to u minus v dot u minus v. So I'm going to rewrite u dot u as magnitude u squared and v dot v as magnitude v squared. OK. So I should have done that uh, right when I began that step on the left side. And then do you see what's going to happen? You could subtract magnitude u squared from both sides, and, and they go away. You can subtract magnitude of v squared from both sides, they go away. You could divide both sides by what? You have, to, you have to do that subtraction first to make it easy, but divide both sides by negative 2. So different operation, but they go away, right? And then what's left? u dot v on the left side, right, equals magnitude u magnitude v cosine theta. That's almost the whole proof, isn't it? All we have to do is get cosine of theta by itself. But I'm going to circle this because it gives us an alternate form of the dot product, which comes in handy for many types of interpretation uh, and other things computationally. Now, divide both sides by magnitude u, magnitude v, put cosine on the left, and you've got it. Cosine theta equals u dot v divided by magnitude u magnitude v. That's it. 